to those of you with families, or God forbid, children, I am deeply, deeply sorry. But you must push on. Do not let their deaths be in vain. We do still have time. Humanity may still have a future. Come to Site-19. We need all the hands we can get. Learn to embrace the darkness, friends. Fear the light. When day breaks. The distress signal must be coming from there. Welcome to Site 19 and SCP 001. Oh, now this is Soma, and this is a mod on Soma. I actually got messaged this on Discord, and uh, I'm excited to play it. I actually straight up bought Soma uh, just so I could play this mod. I'm excited about it. It looks actually really good. I hope it is good. The fuck out of my way, chair. Get out of my way. Ugh. Okay, guest management inbox, exception, inbox. From O5 Council, this is our final effort to recruit survivors. To anyone who managed to survive the activation, we request you come as fast as you can to Site-19. This is the last place the affected will be able to get into. We can all build a new future, together, sent to all SCP employees. Clandestine and worldwide, the SCP Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction and is empowered and entrusted by every major world government. The Foundation... Now this mod is based on SCP-001. It aims to turn SD Locke's proposal from the SCP Foundation into a playable story featuring the key events, some additional ones with their own interpretation. Six billion casualties within the first day, yet some managed to survive. A passenger, once to be associated with the Foundation, came across a distress signal. Could this signal dictate the next step to make for a dark salvation, or rather to drag him into the punishing light? Main Entrance Containment Medical Bay Dining Hall, SCP. Okay. Let's see what's going on down here. Ooh, dude, this looks really good. This looks really, really good. Oh, what's happening in there? I wonder if there's more SCP mods for Soma. Let's see. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, what's in here? Anything interesting? Okay, here we go. There's this guy. This is Agent Mosley from Site 14. For the benefit of everyone here, don't go to Site 14. It's gone. We lost power last night. Everything got out. The only positive thing to come out of it was everything melted as soon as it got outside. We stopped receiving radio communication from all sites except 19. There's no way we can get there at the moment. We're heading for 46. It's our nearest site. Vehicles will attract too much attention, so we're on foot. We caught a distress signal from them just before things went to shit on our end. There's five of us left. I honestly doubt all of us will make it there alive. But it's the only place left. So it seems like they were trying to evacuate or something like that. Here, let's, uh, there's a lot of doors here. I'm excited. Oh, okay. Uh, we have the elevator. I don't want to go in the elevator yet. This place is big. Is there a map? Now, I've actually never played Soma before, so I'm not exactly sure how this game is supposed to work. But we'll figure it out as we play. Okay, so before the elevator, I'm just going to see if there's anything back here. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? North stairwell. Ooh, okay. Oh. 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 SCP-001 is the designation given to the sun. After an event on system air, data lost. 
contact system administrator, resulting in 6.8 billion casualties within the first 24 hours. SCP-001 effect does not seem to result from exposure to ultraviolet rays, but rather light in the visual spectrum. The effect is similarly present in moonlight. Upon contact with visible light produced by the sun, living organisms liquefy at the point of contact, with the effect spreading until the entire organism is converted. Visually, this is reminiscent of melting wax. The time it takes is largely dependent on the level exposure and the size of the organism. Despite this restructuring, at no point do living organisms perish. Upon completion, these organisms, SCP-001-A, take on a gelatinous consistency. Motile organisms will attempt to orient themselves in a fashion reminiscent of their previous form, to varying degrees of success. Testing has revealed that SCP-001-A is relatively safe to consume. This is only to be considered as a last resort in the absence of other options. Also, SCP-001 is considered a polyon. Now, if you guys are curious what a polyon is, basically a translation of the name Abaddon, in Hebrew, the angel of death, an SCP that is nearly impossible to contain slash recontain, so I'm guessing it is above Keter. Its properties pose a serious and immediate threat to the human life. Danger, restricted area. Let's go and check this out. Oh no. Dude, I'm this- getting close to the signal. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, um. Oh god. Okay, there's that. We can't actually go through that doorway, I don't think. No, no, we can't. Okay. Let's go over this way. Actually, does this do anything? No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's leading us down this way. Okay, so containment, electric storage, sector administration, dispatch. Wait, what is this? So basically, everyone gets turned into flesh zombies, uh, and everyone's basically dead. There's only a few survivors left. Okay, I wish I had a flashlight. It's so dark. I can't see anything, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God, guys. Okay, so this is... Oh, so I'm guessing this is uh, 001-A, one of the flesh zombies, right? I'm not sure, I didn't read much about it, but I'm not sure how they interact with other things because they're technically not dead from what I understand. I could have, I like, I didn't read enough about it, so I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong, I probably am wrong. But it seems like there's some sort of living zombies. I, like, what do they do to humans or other creatures? Or do they spread? How does this work exactly? Okay, um... Okay, so this looks like some sort of containment. I can't see underneath of it, really. I don't know what's back there. Uh, let's go ahead and head over here. This is... What is this? Oh, okay. I grabbed the object I need. Okay. Oh, so this is like a blowtorch thing. I got it. Uh, ooh. That's really cool. I like that. So this is where the signal came from. I should remove my protective suit layer. Don't want to die from hypothermia after coming this far. Okay. Okay, so I removed my sort of wetsuit thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I would do that, but you know, it's whatever. No big deal. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get on the computer. Use the keyboard to write and execute commands on the terminal. Oh no. Help. List. Use uh, folders, files in the current directory. Open file, open a folder. Uh, let's do list. Entries. Um, open entries. 
entries list. Automatic secure system notification code 235. There's been error in, in retrieving the current iteration of the SCP-001 file. New revisions can be accessed at the bottom of this page. Okay. So open revision entry. Loading entry. Okay, so this actually tells us more about SCP-001. SCP-001, minutes after its activation, photographer unknown, audio log one. Okay, and this says object class Apollyon. Special containment procedures due to its nature. Actually, let's see if this actually reads it. This is Dr. Logan Igota, level uh, three researcher. Due to site 46's possession of several communicable info hazards, we have, we have been cut off from the rest of the network under blackout protocol. On the bright side, we are actually still receiving transmissions from a few sites. A good number of personnel have made it, it seems. Some are planning to make a break for 19. Some are trying to fight the dash, as some, like us, are simply biding their time. Our site is sealed for the time being. We're not ready for the journey, at least not yet. We experienced a contact breach a few days ago. One of the higher maintenance humanoids broke loose. Son of a bitch compromised containment on half a, half a dozen ketters and ran off. They didn't make it more than five feet from the tunnels before collapsing in a zoo. There's only a few of us left here. I'm holed up in one of the offices. Jerry and Director Phillips are somewhere in the barracks. Clyde and a few Ds lock themselves into the armory with Ari. I should really see how she's doing. Hey, Han. How you're holding up down there? Hey, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I just... I just wanted to check in real quick. I'm fine, babe, really. I can take care of myself. No, no, I know, I know that. I, I can't help it though. I know coming here was never easy for you. And with everything going on, I... Anyway, since you're wondering, I'm fine. The guys are sitting around playing cards and I'm tucked in the corner of my notebook. Sweetheart, penning a sonnet about my undying love at a time like this? I'm flattered. An energy at the moment. I feel like if I don't keep myself busy doing something, I'll go crazy locked down here. I know what you mean, hon. I'll let you get back to it. I love you. Love you too, babe. And that's, that's all of us. Everyone else was either uh, topside during the event or they were killed in the breach. The director's orders are to stay put, keep an eye on the camps, both in and around the facility. We've got the old one skips beating at our front door and oh God knows what else locked in here with us. Okay, so there's some, that log was interesting, but there's some other things that I didn't read that actually answer some of my questions here. Biological anomalies exposed to 001 are affected in the same matter. It seems that exposure nullifies any previous, previously expressed anomalous characteristics. Due to their composition, instances of 001-A that may contact with one another may combine and blend at a molecular level. This does not seem to cause any pain or distress to the instances though. The resulting bulk can inhibit movement. The resulting biomass is amorphous and chaotic. The component organisms will shift between a full to semi-liquid state. Limbs and bodies will rise periodically from within the mass for a short duration. So it'd be like, if you want to imagine it, I'm imagining it like a tar pit. Maybe if you saw something kind of like rise up from a tar pit or something and then you like go back down before deteriorating. Okay, uh, this also is what we already read, this first part, but up here, cannot be contained. Survivors of the SCP-001 event stationed within secured facilities are to remain in contact with one another. Personnel are encouraged to attempt to reach Site-19 by any means at their disposal. So they're basically going to be walking through zombie graveyards. And from my understanding, I think contact with 001-A 
is bad. <laughs> Uh, personnel with the knowledge as to the whereabouts of the O5 Council are to relay this information to the administrator. Survivors attempting to travel outdoors must fully cover their bodies in protective clothing, preferably several layers. That's why we were wearing the wetsuit, I'm guessing. Personnel exposed to 001 are be considered lost. Compromised personnel are to be abandoned. Collective instances of 001-A are to be that are of formidable size are to be avoided at all costs. Is there any way to destroy them? I don't know. Personnel stationed at Site-19 are, pres- are to pursue research concerning off-world colonizations. Oh. So basically, the Earth is lost. The Earth is over. Everyone's trying to survive, and it seems like this isn't like a zombie apocalypse. Like, there's no coming back from this from what it sounds like. I don't know if there's a way to destroy him. It seems like just touching it, and you're fucked. Shuttles must be constructed as to not allow light to penetrate the interior. So, if the sun or moon touches you now, do you still get turned? Like, is this event that lasts forever? Are we supposed to stay underground? Okay, this is very creepy. And this is just one fucking log. Um, let's, let's do the other one. Open. Okay, no changes submitted. Information collapsed. Okay, incident report 001.1. They've just been sitting out there this entire time, calling out to us, begging for us to come outside. The noise drew in more of them. There's this one mass that I'm sure must have a few dozen people and God knows how many animals roll, rolling around inside of it. Screams and bleats and screeches and howls nonstop, louder than all hell. The worst ones make this disgusting moaning like they're actually enjoying it. They're not going to leave so long as they know we're down here. We managed to talk to one of the D's into going out. D-Boy's being abused right here, man. See if he couldn't draw them away. He was surprisingly okay with the plan. All he asked for was a gun in a single round. He made it out there and one got a hold of him, tried to get his mask off. He managed to work the pistol up beneath his chin in time, got it off. I figured he was lucky. After he fell limp though, it kept working at his suit, pried off the hood, poured itself inside, began tearing it off of him from within. He came back, started changing. Dripping out of his suit and screaming and screaming and screaming. They won't let us die. The director has a plan. There's an escape tunnel hidden in his office. Tram under the site will take us to a safe house. We should be able to start working towards 19 from there. So yeah, everyone's like, the uh, above ground is way too dangerous at this point. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's open up eight, I guess. Okay, so your security level permission on the account has been updated. Okay. Audio log number three. Go outside? Coming through. Through the ceiling. Okay. Drinking the meat down. The light. And we're going up there. They're closing. Logan? Where are you? Why can't I get back inside? Are you there? Babe, it's alright. I'm alright, really. It's a bright, sunny day, and you're just wasting away down there. Such a beautiful, clear blue sky. Just like that day. Do you remember, babe? It was so perfect. Everything was how I'd always dreamt it would be. You planned exquisitely. I'd never felt so in love. You even had that band play our song. I feel good in a special way. I'm in love and it's a sunny day. By the way, the previous log was 1300 and some days ago. It's already been a hundred and some days that they've been trapped. And that's like three and a half or so years ago, right? Like this is like three years ago right here, but previous log was like three and a half years ago. So yeah, this is a while ago. We're here like way after the fact. So let's go ahead and do open revision. Let's open up the last one. 9-12.entry. No, so this is the same amount of days ago. Audio log number five. Despite the things we have to deal with here at the foundation, I've always believed we would be able to maintain control. We would hold the darkness at bay with mankind flourishing the light. Site 19 stopped broadcasting last month. It's been getting harder and harder to find a reason to keep going. Especially without, without. I keep going over it again 
and again in my mind day back in the tunnels everything that happened I've gone down there a few times and I hear her voice again but it's wrong that thing on the other side of the door it isn't her not anymore it sounds like her it knows everything she knew but it's not her Okay, so there's no more entries. Um, so it sounds almost like once you're absorbed, it knows everything you know. So I don't know. I'm guessing it's intelligent. Maybe it's sentient. Um, maybe it's almost like a hive mind or something. Like once they combine, I mean, with other th things, like wouldn't it know multiple humans like intelligence and personalities and all that kind of stuff? Sounds very qu weird. It almost sounds like hell a little bit. When you imagine hell, and you see it in movies or games or whatever. It almost seems like the same thing a little bit. But anyways, let's uh, let's go back. Can we go back like this? Back, yeah. So let's go ahead and do list. Um, we have the entries. So open application. Access denied for specific folder. Open entries. List. Wait, there's a new entry. Wait a sec. Open revision.entry. Oh, okay. Object class apologize. What? Item number hurts. SCP-001 should not be contained. Survivors of the SCP-001 event stationed within secured facilities can never truly be one with another. Personnel are encouraged to get over themselves and stop thinking they know better. You can't hide down here forever, love. Wait. Personnel exposed to 001 aren't people you can just abandon. I didn't ask for you to save me. It wasn't your choice to make. Euthan euth euthanization is not, 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 not to be attempted. Personnel stationed at Site-19 are to pursue research concerning off-world colonizations. Uh, is this okay, yeah, that's the same. Wait. Due to their composition. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, is this 001, like, manipulating us right now? It was so warm out there. Is designated actually... After we finally became free, the effects are instantaneous, resulting in release from all suffering until you rip me away. These changes seem scary, I know. Despite the re this restructuring, at no point will you die, I promise. Due to their composition, instances of 001-A that make contact with one another may combine and blend and finally exist. This does not cause any pain. Since the 001 event, most instances have congregated into such collectives, which seem to possess no maximum volume. Don't be afraid? The resulting biomass is beautiful. The component organisms will shift into in and over and around and through and in and out and in and around and in. Limbs and bodies hold, never letting go, all as one before deteriorating and being sub, uh, subsumed by another life form. Collective instances will locomote by just trying to get close to you again. Let Trying so hard, let me in. Yeah, there's something outside my door. I've heard it this whole time and it's... Yeah, let me in. It's it's outside my door. It's trying to manipulate me. Um, video file. Yeah, this is the thing outside my door, I think, right now. Right? No, this isn't outside my door. This is someone else. Uh. Uh, what's happening? Do I need to leave? I can't leave. Okay, yeah, I can. Oh, I can actually... Okay, I can... Okay, um, we need to get out of here. We need to leave. New entry was copied from some- what? Wait, open? No, list. Wait, wait, there's a new entry? List. What? 12-12-12? What? Open-12.entry. Oh my god, they keep adding more, dude. There's just more and more and more. Oh, 
browsing the archives, tested my myself for four, six, seven, three infection, negative five, one, eight, nine. Is that is the only other one that uses print as an extra? Can't be that. I still have all my fingers. Is that a hand beside the computer monitor? I just noticed that. What the fuck is that? There's another revision, dude. What the fuck? Revision. Revision dot current. By the way, that hand is gone. Your security level information on this account has been updated. Who keeps updating my permissions? Exactly. Saffron skies raise the blazing sun. A chance encounter. Oh, you can't. Can you hear me? Oh, system error. Oh God. Wait, wait. A chance encounter, awkward displays. One day, my love, will we be as one? Object class, with two entwined, a set course begun. That frenetic, wild, lustrous haze. Azure skies host the radiant sun. Special containment procedures. Above us, beaming as we run down the aisle, a fervent craze. That day, my love, we became as one. With future unfolded, the life we'd won, commitment and duty for the family we'd raise. Cerulean skies vary the shimmering sun. Description. Buried, shackled by fate, overrun by ever-growing resentment. Malice. Yesterday, my love, we were as one. Now you lie here, the life in you gone. In the dark outside her rays, crimson skies bear the torch. Our sun today, my love, will be as one. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, so it wants me to fucking leave, right? Here, let's list again. Current. That's it. Okay, that's it. Uh, I think that's it. Um, we gotta leave. Here, put this back on. We gotta go. It's trying to hold me here or something. Like, that's what it's doing. Wait a sec. How do I... How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, God. I'm fucked. Oh, contacts me. Oh, no. Open. Main. Tin. Shit, they're coming. Ninja. Big. Big. Hash. Big. Dot. S-H. No. Fuck, uh, uh, maintain. No, oh, 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 okay, fuck, maintain. And no, 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 it's, uh, hatch dot sh. Yes, opening main attached. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. How the fuck do I go? Wait, no, do I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, wait, where's it open? Where's, no, no, no. Where's it open? I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, wait, 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 okay, okay, we, we gotta do this, I guess. We gotta, okay, what is this? Open communications dot s i fucked up! No! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Open maintenance hash dot s a Shit, they're coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Communications dot s h. Program corrupted, what? Okay, I, I opened the maintenance task. Where, where, no, where do I gotta go, dude? How do I go up there? Fuck! How do I open it? It should open, right? Oh no, 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 no. Fuck! 
Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, God damn it. How do I open it, dude? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this right here is the main attach? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, wait. Um... Hatch, DOS, ASA, okay, boom. Fuck go. Shit, they're coming! They know fun to think. Think. Okay, go. Go. What? What the fuck? Wait, what's happening? Why am I. Oh god, I'm like outside the map right now. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, why am I outside the map, dude? Oh god, I'm at the load or something. Oh fuck, what's happening? Okay. Goodbye. Okay, okay, now, okay, open it. First interactive, then pull in the mouse. Got it. Got it. We gotta go. We gotta go, boys. We gotta go. Oh shit, this is terrifying. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Should I have closed that behind me or something? I don't know if you can. Are we good? Is he coming down here? Or is it coming down here? I didn't mean to assume it's gender. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, okay. oh no, it's like above me. Wait, which okay, we don't go that way. We keep going this way. We keep going this way, boys. Okay, is this where is this how we Okay. Oh, we managed to escape. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe I should close this. Yeah, I'm closing this. Oh, okay. Um, okay, those are all locked, it seems like. Whew. Okay. Huh, we need to calm down for a second. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call this here. I guess for the start of this uh, playthrough, the mod. I don't. I don't think the mod's very long. I think we're probably already maybe like halfway through it or something. I'm not sure. There's probably only going to be one more video. I have no idea. But this is very awesome. Also, this makes you want to play other Soma mods. If you know of any other SCP-related Soma mods, or if Soma itself would be something you want to see, tell me down below. But this has been fucking great. Congrats to the mod of this game. I'll have a link down below, and I'll have Soma link down below. You can actually download When Day Breaks SCP-001 from the Steam Workshop if you own Soma. So yeah, it's really good. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one for part two. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to smash the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll see you in the next one.